Schizophrenia. The word alone probably brought a few images to the front of your mind, and if it did, those images probably weren't pretty. That's because schizophrenia has one of the worst reputations of all mental illnesses. There are several stereotypes that are associated with the illness, even though there are several types of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia's tendency to be misunderstood probably has a lot to do with the fact that, even among professionals, it isn't fully understood. The illness is as mysterious as it is notorious, which has led to serious complications when it comes to treatment. Perhaps the most mysterious thing about schizophrenia is its origins. But recently, researchers found a possible lead as to where schizophrenia comes from. According to their research, one of the most stigmatized illnesses of the mind may start with a problem in the blood. Imagine you are a young adult who has lived a relatively healthy life so far, but you start to notice little changes. Perhaps you start to hear things, or maybe you even see or smell things that no one else seems to notice. You think it's just your imagination being overactive, but over time, the sensations become stronger and you realize you aren't imagining anything. You're hallucinating. These are just a few of the symptoms of schizophrenia, and experiencing hallucinations is not at all a guarantee that you are schizophrenic, but for many schizophrenic people, this is how it all began. Because of the hit or miss treatment options available today and the stigma associated with schizophrenia, being diagnosed with the illness can be the worst news for a young adult to receive. Now, imagine living with schizophrenia and being told that you also have cancer. This may seem like a hopeless diagnosis, but for a 24-year-old patient, it was this diagnosis that eventually led to his reclamation of his mind. The patient had treatment-resistant schizophrenia and was diagnosed with a form of leukemia. In order to treat his cancer, doctors decided to perform bone marrow transplantation, or BMT. After a successful BMT operation, doctors were amazed to find that the patient also showed signs of reduced psychotic symptoms, and he showed this reduction without a change in his treatments for schizophrenia. Of course, this one result wasn't enough to constitute a clear link, but after his two and four year evaluations after the BMT, the patient continued to show improvements in his schizophrenic symptoms. For example, he performed better in social situations, which is typically something that schizophrenic people struggle with. This isn't the only example of schizophrenia being linked to blood transfusions. In another case, a man who had a healthy mental health record became diagnosed with a type of leukemia. His brother, who had been diagnosed with schizophrenia, was the most immediate match, and so his blood was used for transfusions. After treatments, the patient began to report a shift in his mental health. He was angrier and began to develop psychotic symptoms. After studying the case, researchers largely agree that the patient had contracted, for lack of a better word, schizophrenia due to the blood transfusions from his schizophrenic brother. It has been understood that the autoimmune system was linked to schizophrenia in some way. In schizophrenic patients, the levels of over 20 autoantibodies are higher than those of non-schizophrenic individuals. And it has been known for a while that neurodevelopmental disorders and maternal infections were linked in some way. For example, the rubella pandemic in 1964 led to a nearly 20% increase in documented schizophrenia cases in the affected population which was a dramatic increase from the less than 1% occurrence rate in the unaffected population. While these findings don't yet point to a clear path for treatment, and while it isn't known if all forms of schizophrenia are linked to the blood, these findings do support the idea that a link to schizophrenia in the autoimmune system exists. This is important for two reasons. The first is obvious. It can lead to more focused research that may in turn lead to more effective medical treatments for patients. The second is that it reinforces the fact that mental health is not separate from physical health. As more people grow to understand this, 
we can reduce the stigma surrounding schizophrenia as well as mental illness as a whole, and not only improve the way patients are treated medically, but also how they are treated in society.